back to another episode of Spotlight on the Great Wax and Wax Museum. And this is my first time hosting, and I'm really excited, and I'm really excited to host next time. We got a great episode for you today, so don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. I want to, uh, first of all, thank Dr. Joanne Martin and the late Dr. Elmer Martin for their vision. The Bible says that without vision, the people perish. But one part of a vision I am convinced is to know your history. And the Great Blacks and Wax Museum is a place where we can go to find out the history. And a lot of people think that history just benefits African American people. I just stopped by to tell you that it helps all of us, both black, white, brown, and yellow, to understand our history. And the Great Blacks and Wax Museum has had a tremendous impact. In the Congress of the United States of America, we get a lot of inquiries, Dr. Martin, about how to get to the Great Blacks and Wax Museum, because it is unique and it is special. I've often said that so often we have great things within our midst, and we think it's everywhere else. But the fact is, is that it is not duplicated. And so today, we have come here to celebrate the beginning of a beginning. That is, I want to thank the mayor for these 48 properties, which will soon be demolished to make way for uh, better parking facilities and things of that nature. And that's very important. But it's also the opening of a whole new era for this area. Dr. Martin and Dr. Martin made it clear that they not only wanted to be able to deal with history, but they wanted to make sure that those who were living history could live in a decent manner, and wanted to make sure that the environment of the Great Blacks and Wax Museum was one that would be welcoming at all times. Hi, so I want to talk to you about this modeling event that I went to um, a past few days ago called the International One Way Show. And the International One Way Show is basically a show where they have um, really different, unique um, clothes there. And they really try to try to show the the creativity from every every ethnicity, you know. And it was just a great experience because I met the, the designers there, and I met the um, the hairdressers and, and everything like that. And I saw all these different models of different shapes and sizes and different colors, and it's just a beautiful thing, you know, to see and and to experience. And you know, and I went there and I I talked to some amazing people and. And just trying to get advice, you know, and try to, you know, um, just learn how to how this industry is. And, and it was a real spotlight on African American culture. Have a look at this.
wasn't that interesting? Now I want to talk to you about more of my experience there. You know, when when I was there, I saw these these amazing models, and I saw these little kids there, and they were just running on the one way. And this one girl, she just killed the show. I mean, she was the showstopper. And I was just like, man, they really got talent, you know. And it was just really cool to hear her talk about, you know, just what she what she's done in the industry, talking about how she sent these models to Africa and Paris and. And, and all over the world, so she's really established as a as a um, an agency, and she's done a lot, you know, for the for the culture. So me being there was just an honor, honestly, and I definitely take it to heart. And yeah, I look forward to doing more of these. You know, so um, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. talk about like more of the modeling um, that I went to because I think it's important now that there's a lot of things happening in the world especially in Baltimore with crime and violence and you know just really awful things and I just think that that we can change that by trying to take because usually what happens is that with violence and stuff those are from people that don't have a guidance they don't have a, a, a figure a parent household or something like that and I just think that if they can channel that energy from there to something like modeling or an industry where they can channel that creativity, then they would, we would have more um, positive, you know, outcomes, you know, because what what people are trying to do is that they're trying to look for an outlet, and that's where they go to drugs and all that other stuff. But they just got to, they need, they need a source, you know, and that source can be modeling, you know, because mm -hmm. that's something positive that they could use for their lives, you know, and change things and, 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 and make a change in the community. And to build, like, very big self-esteem and confidence, you know, that's the big thing. And I think that will go further and go really far. So, I think that's important for me. And let me show you some more of what I experienced. I'm with my man here. It's good to see you, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those who don't know, I go by Elwood, Mr. Class Ingram. When I tell you this guy is nothing but inspirational, when I tell you the very first time I met this guy, we had a great conversation, a great sit down, and each and every time he has a mission, this guy shows up and he shows out. So I just want to say, from right now, I appreciate you, and I appreciate what you're doing for the people, I appreciate what you're doing for the culture, and you're being a leader, as us black men should. We're standing on the pedestal, and we're going to continue to bring each and every one of our people up, so I appreciate you for you just being you. I appreciate that, man. I, I take that in front, man. I, really appreciate, I appreciate you, man. You know, we, we were in a, um, a play together now. called the Man Monster Play, uh, I think about two years ago. Yeah. Yeah, about two yeah. years ago. And, you know, when I came in and I uh, auditioned for the, for the play, and I got I got the role for the play, you know, and it was just such a great experience being able to meet people like him and, and, the, and the cast and everything like that. It was just such a humbling experience and stuff like that. And, you know, it's really taught me a lot, you know, about life and myself and just, you know, how to go about things, you know, and it was just really like, it made me grow as a person, confidence and things like that, and that's something that I want to spread out, you know, to the people that we want to do, do is that, you know, you know, even though things might be scary or you might have to step back with things, that that's not the end of the journey, you know, exactly. like that's exactly. just, like for some reason, some people it's the beginning because you're actually starting to do what you're trying to do, and and you know, and not not saying that it's not going to be hard. Not saying that you might have fallbacks, you know. But that's part of the journey, you know. Just you know, and 
just like today, you know, I didn't get a, I didn't get picked, but I'm not looking at it as a failure. I'm looking at it as a, you know, I did my thing, I did my best, and I'm gonna take the, the criticism and the, That's and, the I'm, event. and I'm going to, um, I'm going to use it for the next thing I do, which was this was the um, international modeling casting. Program. Yes. Yeah. So you know, so you know, even though even though it hurts a little bit, but I'm just gonna do what I'm gonna do, and you know, and I just want to spread that message. So I think that's important. How is he associated with? So, so we, I, I want, I, I want to tell you this. Oh, man, it's been so many times, bro, that I done went out there and I felt like I blew the water out. I never got a call back. I had so many people tell me no. I had so many people laugh in my face and tell me, man, you would never be a model. You would never be an actor. You know what I did? I took that and I flipped it. And I captivated that into my own and I made the best me that I can be. I stopped trying to live for everybody else. I stopped worrying about what everybody else thought. And at that very moment, the moment I started to walk in my own faith as Elwood Ingram Jr., that is the moment when everybody started to recognize and really respect who I am. So as long as you keep doing that, you're always satisfied. So then start the one way for autism, yeah. you in. Tell you that you're in. We're gonna continuously. We're gonna keep the work. We're gonna work on it. We're gonna work on the walk. We're gonna let you. We, I'm, I'm gonna tell you everything. You, you know how we get that. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm gonna tell you the truth, and then we're gonna work on it, and then that's how we're gonna do. But just know, we're gonna always have a spot. Always, man, because you. You always impressing me every time I see you, man. Every time I see you, always impress me. Now you got your show. You got people tuning in. Great, man. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. And, you know, I just want to, you know, say again that thank you guys for watching. And, you know, hopefully you take something from this. And, and just keep going. Keep, keep chasing. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button right now. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Yes. Already. Wasn't that great, you know, getting that information from him and what he said about about me and, and all the kind words that he said, you know, that was definitely motivating for me. And that made me feel really good just hearing that from somebody that's done this, you know, and and just it, it feels good to have support, you know, that that's really that I have people that look up that people support me and want to raise me up. So that was really humbling for me and I take every word to heart and I just want to do the same thing for people, you know, I want to sh share that out, so, um, yeah, I, I, I really am appreciate what he's done, what he did, and what he's done for me, and don't go anywhere with me. <laughs>
um, casting, and she was really nervous. And then I was just trying to give encouragement how, you know, it's okay to be nervous because this is something that you want, right? So I just said it's really about confidence. And if you got the confidence, then you can just go out there and you try your best, you know? And I was basically trying to, you know, tell her that it's okay to be nervous, but you got this. And then she was saying, because she didn't, really, she didn't speak English, so she was kind of saying, yes, I understand, I understand. And, you know, and that's something that I try to push on anybody. So I really did learn a lot of stuff, and I want to take you back, and let's look at some more. the show we kind of focus on raw just just raw and and you know natural stuff yeah because then it's like you got it on youtube yeah yeah we, okay. yeah yeah we are on youtube but we, we try to just just let it be really Keep natural, natural. And, and things so that when people see it it's like oh yeah i can help them <laughs>
and seeing all those footages and stuff like that, man, you can just imagine what it's like in person. And you guys should definitely come to a show wherever you get the chance. Um, but yeah, it was just an amazing experience. And um, yeah, and don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. I just want to say thank you for watching the show. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. This is something that I really love, and I want to spread that love to people that are watching. And I just want to know that this is just another opportunity for creativity and love to be spread because everybody can contribute to things like that. So I had fun, and I hope you had fun too. I just want to say thank you for letting me host the show of the Great Blacks and Raps Museum, and I really appreciate the time that you allow me to talk about this. So please let me host next time. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later, and I'll see you next time. Bye.